So our poll question <laughs> is a phenomenal one based on the fact it's 22 years ago that Bobby Boucher was brought into our pop culture uh, 1998. consciousness. 1998 was when The Water Boy was released in a theater near you. So we asked which fictional character, right, is... Uh, which fictional football player would you take right. first overall in the draft? So we figured, you know what, we've gone back and forth right now. Who's currently leading the poll? Right Bobby now? Boucher is leading the way, 45%. Well, we figured, why don't we ask an actual football talent evaluator of the first variety of this question? Daniel Jeremiah back here on the Rich Eisen Show. How are you, DJ? I'm doing great, Rich. I've spent the morning, and this is not a lie, I spent the morning literally watching tape of all four guys, and I've written reports on all four players. So if you'd all like right. me to start at one or four, I'm ready to go. Okay, so let's start with uh, let's start with Bobby Boucher, and we'll put our own uh, Rich Eisen show draft pro- profile up on the screen while you have at it. You're, you have the floor first on, on, uh, on uh, Bobby Boucher, Jr. Sure. Uh, Boucher primarily lines up as an off-the-ball linebacker. However, they will use him off the edge in some obvious passing situations. Against the run, he's very aggressive to fill and attack blockers. Doesn't use his hands to shed, preferring to simply lower his shoulder and power through blocks. (laughs) Has the range to make plays sideline to sideline. He's an outstanding blitzer, showing timing burst and a violent finish. He will need to abandon the drop kick at the next level. Uh, I don't see him being the primary signal caller or communicator, but his play instincts are are exceptional. Overall, Boucher plays a lot bigger than his size. Should be an immediate impact player on day one. Wow, interesting. Oh. interesting. What about the concerns over Phenomenal. his uh, red flags, his uh, his potential uh, character issues, DJ? None. Uh, I, I, I'm I'm okay there. I, I did a lot of homework on that, and mm-hmm. he, it turns out he comes from a very good family. Okay, so he's going to be okay. <laughs> and then and then uh, is, is there any extra benefit for making delicious, high quality H2O? Is there anything that uh, that comes with that? I didn't hear any of that. In well, I mean, I just I think you're gonna have you're gonna have no cramping issues on this team whatsoever. It's just a bonus. Okay. <laughs> All right. So that's uh, Bobby Boucher, <laughs> Daniel Jeremiah at Move the Sticks, and also listen to him and Bucky Brooks on the Move the Sticks podcast. Moving on to Johnny Utah, uh, quarterback, yep. the Ohio State University. What's your what's your breakdown here? Yeah, Utah's a wild card in this draft. Doesn't have a lot of film. Uh, I was able to find some tape of him playing in a different league. Uh, AKA different role has average athleticism and an awkward three quarter left-handed delivery. His best traits are his toughness and competitiveness. Yeah. Never gives up on a play. He'll fight for every yard as a runner. He has been generating a lot of buzz in league circles, but I'm still not totally buying in. He's a little too high on the board for me right now. Okay. He's got to go down. It's got to be that way. <laughs> uh, I would consider hiring him after his playing days are over. He okay. could have a long career associated with the game, either an outstanding coach, a prominent scout, or a special agent. Okay, now that's the question <laughs> that we had. That's our red flag, is we're wondering if he's committed to football or is law enforcement perhaps getting in the way of his commitment to, to, to the craft? DJ, that was he's our red flag. My, he's number four. He's number wow. four on my wow. list. Wow. 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 Oh, gosh, yeah. okay. Yeah. He's not high yeah. on Utah. All right, so no, uh, no. next up, uh, Willie Beeman, quarterback, University of Houston. Sure. What's, your, what's, your, uh, what's your draft evaluation on him, Daniel Jeremiah? What do you have for yeah. him? All right, Rich. Uh, we, uh, Beeman, a little bit of a late bloomer. He's originally a seventh-round pick, bounced around to four different teams. Uh, he's since settled in and emerged as a dangerous playmaker as both a passer and a runner. He has quick feet in his setup, a smooth motion. The ball jumps out of his hand. He can make every throw. He's at his best when the play breaks down, using that athleticism to extend plays while keeping his eyes downfield. Generates a lot of big plays. As a runner, sudden bursts and also possesses the strength to break tackles. His immaturity is an issue, and I believe there is something to the rumors about his poor relationship with his star running back. Uh, I think it's important for his coaches to understand how to best use his skill set. The lack of RPOs is a major mistake. Uh, he'll excel in the right system and should emerge as the best player in the league. He's my number one player. Wow! wow. My name is but it, it depends on he gets into the right system, is what you're saying. You've right system. Get... I mean, the fact that they don't, the fact that they don't use him in the RPO game is ridiculous. I mean, that's just poor coaching. Okay, so maybe Doug Peterson would be able to. Be, uh, the Eagles would be a good spot for him, sort of like that. Yeah, they get it out of him. Okay. Yeah. Uh, last one. Uh, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I'm partial. This is the one I voted for in our poll question. Uh, one of the greatest kick returners I've ever seen from uh, Alabama, yeah. Forrest Gump. What, what's your take here, DJ? All right, Rich. Uh, Gump is a dynamic kick returner for the Crimson Tide. He's made an impact in plays in every game that I studied. Uh, he's the definition of straight line fast. Lacks elusiveness and make missability, but it doesn't seem to matter. He gets up to sp- top speed immediately and destroys pursuit angles. I'd like to see him involved in the offense because I believe his speed would play well on jet sweeps, reverses, and vertical takeoff routes. 
the trainers told me that he's had some durability issues as a young kid, but they haven't had any issues at Alabama. The head coach worries about his ability to learn and grasp concepts. He even <laughs> actually referred to him as a stupid SOB when he was talking to me. Uh, but once he said he's a joy to coach. It's probably the best to leave him on special teams until he gets comfortable. Right. I wouldn't be ping-ponging him back and forth nice. between positions. Uh, he'll be a good soldier, provided you surround him with a good lieutenant, and I'd be shot in the butt to draft him. Again. <laughs> Daniel wow. Jeremiah. Well this done. This is why we DJ. called you, DJ. This is why we called you. So um, rank him for me. Let's uh, let's finish up strong here. What do you what do you got for me here? Will Willie's one? Is he is he your first overall pick? Willie? Oh, we just lost him. He hung up the phone. Let's wow. get him back on. He, he did say Willie Beeman was his number oh, one. Say Willie Beeman. Oh, man, we were, about to, we were, about, to, we were about to finish up strong. Get him back on the horn, Adam, so we could put this thing together. He just texted me. That was my walk-off. That was his walk-off? <laughs> <laughs> he just hung up? Oh, man, I think maybe his phone ran out of batteries. Amazing. That was amazing. So Willie Beeman is his... His top pick. Yeah, it sounded like Beeman one, Boucher two, Gump then Utah. That's five. If I interpreted his reports correctly, he was very I'm high. Surprised how Beeman. how how low he is on Johnny Utah. Yeah, not well, a lot of tape out there. I mean, he did win a Rose Bowl, but I understand. That was it. He just he just he hung up, up and he's hung up, up walked Daniel off. Jeremiah, everybody. So impressive. Thought I dealt with him for a second. No, you did not. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, if Mike was here. That was not me. <laughs> I had to you know what he <laughs> the things he had to say about Willie Beeman, Beeman man, late bloomer, dangerous playmaker, quick feet, ball jumps out of his hands, makes every throw. Ping pong like he literally did spend all morning oh, yeah, ping ponging yeah, back yeah. and forth. He's so, a good soldier, needs a good lieutenant. A good lieutenant. Come <laughs> on now. His coach referred to him as a stupid SOB. <laughs> but he sure is fast. That is just amazing. Next level, Daniel Jeremiah. That was Next impressive. freaking level. Oh. Uh, Forrest is my guy, though. It's a game, and of all four guys, who's going to change the game? Yeah. Who's going to change the game? I thought he was going to go Bobby Boucher. He was very high on Bobby Boucher. He was. So it was Beeman, probably Beeman Boucher. Beeman Boucher, Gump, Gump. and then Utah fourth. Yeah. You're more of the you're Johnny Utah expert I, I'm than more me. Of a Do you, Utah agree? Guy, Did you I mean, disagree with that? I, Disagree. Said he didn't have a lot of tape on him. But he had a he, uh, look. You can't discount what it means to win the Rose Bowl. Who told us that P Diddy was the original choice for Willie Beeman and he just uh, couldn't throw? Yeah, we've heard that. Was it Irv? Somebody told no, it wasn't Irv. Somebody it was, told uh, us that story's been going around. For it might have been uh, Dennis that. Quaid. That's right. Somebody from the from the set. Might right? have been Dennis Quaid. That it was just like, yeah, we we can't do that. Yeah. Let's get Jamie Fox out here. <laughs> Good Worked choice. Out. Worked out. Good choice. Uh, 844-204-RICH is the number to dial. Uh, ready uh, for your news update, Christopher? I am. Because uh, Eddie Olchuk's going to be part of it, and he's going to make some cash for us. Let's okay, go. For the Breeders' Cup Classic. That's coming up, Hour 3, and Jeremy Piven. Did DJ start texting you back? Yeah, uh, no, he he texted the the both of us um, oh, his it. full scouting report on both guys. Uh, let me try to put this out, and I'll tweet these out. As well. I love it. These are fantastic. Oh, my gosh. He really did write it out. He went He went to work this morning. He watched the film. He did it. In the, he put in the work. That's why I love Daniel Jeremiah. <laughs> now, if I had done that with Mayock, he'd have been like, who the hell are these guys? Yeah. <laughs> why yeah. the hell are you calling me? Well, yeah. You, you yeah, called Mayock's, the right guy. Mayock's never seen any given Sunday. Uh, no I, chance. By the way, yeah, our graphic is dead on with Forrest. Questionable wonderlick. Tends to daydream. Straight line runner only. He's not evasive. Straight line runner. But the jet sweep. Hey, Forrest on a jet sweep. And then what he would have to do is he'd run straight at the at the sideline. Everyone's point, like, run that way. that way. And then he'd have to turn. <laughs> Destroy so pursuit have, you'd have to run. Hold on a second. You'd have to run the jet sweep only to the Alabama side. Right. Because yeah, he yeah. just would run oh, straight yeah. out of bounds he if he ran it to the yeah, LSU yeah. side. They'd basically, come on, here we go. I mean, go. remember he did a Bo Jackson. He ran right under the tunnel after oh, scoring. Oh, my gosh. This and then they had to fantastic. put up the stop sign. That's right. <laughs>